Hello folks, Scott with Dallas Paint Correction and Auto Detailing. I have a 2007 or 2018 Nissan Altima 3.5 V6. I have got a hammered engine bay. This thing is filthy. It is greasy. It is slimy. I don't think it's ever been cleaned. Today has been an exhausting day. I debadged two vehicles, one Chevy Colorado and one Lincoln MKZ SUV and then I had a maintenance client that I had to take care of. So this is my fourth job of the day. I am going to only use Super Clean in an aerosol can to be able to remove all this grease and grime. If you notice here on the ground I've got my works WG520 600 CFM blower. I'm going to use that to blow dry the car after I Degrease it and rinse off the engine. The only other thing I'm going to use is my works hydro shot with distilled water in the bucket, five gallon bucket with my 20 foot hose. All right, let me put you down and I'll show you this in action. I'll kind of go through this and show you the power of Super Clean in an aerosol. The first thing I'm going to do is kind of blow. I've got some leaves and stuff inside this engine bay that I want to get out of the way. So I'm going to blow it out first before I start using Super Clean. I am exhausted, folks. Sorry if I don't sound all that enthusiastic, but uh, this is my fourth vehicle of the day. And I'm a little tired. Let's go. All right, I feel pretty comfortable. I got all the leaves out of there. Now I'm gonna go straight to degreasing with super clean aerosol can and then agitate it with my brush. Sorry if there's noise in the background. There's a mechanic shop not too far from me on the other side of this wall, so just bear with me. I'm gonna spray that super clean all over this stuff. I'm not working in direct sunlight. It's very cloudy today, which is actually nice. It's been very, very pleasant in Dallas the last couple days. It almost feels like September, which is amazing. I'll let that degreaser soak into all these pieces. Again, I don't think this engine has ever been cleaned before. I tell you what, what I love about Super Clean and the aerosol is that it clings to everything. It clings to everything I need it to cling to. It's not running down the engine, getting away from me. On a cloudy day like this, I'm not worried about the product kind of drifting away. It's kind of staying where I need it to be. I love it. So I got it all over the place. And I think as I get older, it's nice to be able to use a, uh, a little aerosol can instead of a trigger sprayer. What I've done is taken my little brush here, this soft bristled brush, and just dipped it into that five gallon bucket. So I've got a little bit of uh, lubrication or water to activate the super clean. Uh, I tell you what, man, I feel, uh, I feel for you guys. I remember the days when I would work on pretty hammered, dirty vehicles that typically is not my life anymore because I got most of my clients are on maintenance programs but I love the way this super clean again when you're when it's in the aerosol it is it is full strength so it's it's not diluted it's full strength it is cutting through this grease and grime I'm willing to say this engine has never been cleaned since 2007 so it's doing a phenomenal job of course I'll bring you guys in here so you can see it when I've got the finished product 
And again, it's not running away from me. The product is staying where I need it to be, which is really nice. Let me go ahead and use my easy detail brush to get in some of those areas I can't get in there with my handheld brush. I'll put a little bit more super degreaser in some of those tight areas. Or did I say super degreaser? Boy, I'm so used to saying that after so long. Super clean in an aerosol can. Let me get some on my brush here so I've got a little extra lubrication. I'll go in there and just be careful when you're jamming if you're going to use an easy detail brush in some of these tight areas. Be careful where you're jamming. You don't want to catch a hose or a line or whatever. But these things are great to be able to get in some of those tight places that your handheld brush can't get. Man, this engine is nasty. I'm trying to think of things that would concern people when they, you know, do an engine bay detail, because I know this is kind of boring to watch me do this, but really the amount of water I'm going to end up using with the hydro shot, which is really nice out of that five gallon bucket, is going to be minimal. It's really, it's really just a rinsing aid at this point, because SuperClean did such a fabulous job of breaking that stuff down. But let me go ahead and use the hydro shot and just rinse this thing off. tell you what I know a free-flowing garden hose with a nozzle on the end of it is great too but what's makes this thing so wonderful is that I can jam this back there and I've got a nice set of pressure to shoot off the firewall I just love it it just makes my life easy I know I told you the guys the other day I don't have to <coughs> whip out a 50-foot hose and reel the thing out reel it back in it's just great I love it and the fact I'm using distilled water, I don't care about any overspray. It's not going to get any water spots, although today's not sunny.
know it's really nice for some of you that may be concerned with putting too much water in the engine compartment with a hose because the garden hose I think what is it something like seven or eight gallons per minute when you're using it to rinse off something I've been using that hydro spot or hydro shot for about a minute or two and it's only about a half a gallon per minute so maybe I've used about a gallon of water to be able to rinse off this engine which kind of makes it a little bit safer I guess if you're worried about putting too much water in the engine bay plus you've got some nice pressure I'll just bring you guys in here and take a look at this stuff here what this did this is amazing to me the super clean on top of that strut assembly there got that painted surfacing looking great all the plastic components all these rubber hoses look really nice of course I'm gonna dry it and then I'm gonna take a better look here and see what I got all these that's the brake reservoir, the, the brake fluid, that container is nice and clean now, super clean, cut through all that grease and grime. That container there looks great. I love it. I love the aerosol can. It just makes my life easy. Just spray it, agitate it, work with my little hydro shot, and I don't have to break out the hose, and I don't have to use a tremendous amount of water, but I've got plenty of pressure to be able to break down that grease and grime and flush off the super clean. All right, let me blow dry this thing and we'll get a better idea of what it looks like. Somebody's going to say, Scott, we need to see it blow drying. So here we go. We're going to have fun with my works. WG520 600 CFM blower. Here we go. Well, I tell you what, you guys got to see that in real time. The actual super clean in the aerosol, agitating, rinsing it with Works uh, Hydro Shot, and now and now drying it off. Let's take a look at this bad, this bad boy, bad girl, whatever we want to call it. Here you go. Yes, I got some moisture still there on plastic pieces that aren't treated. You'll get a little bit of moisture there, but trust me, that blower is phenomenal with being able to blow dry an engine rather quickly. We're 14 minutes in the video. And I know that's probably a little bit too long for most, but I wanted to leave it running to show you actual live time. So now I've super cleaned it with my aerosol can, I've agitated it, I've rinsed it off with my Works Hydro Shot, I've blown dry it. Now all I need to do is put my stuff away. I can take my Meguiar's Hyper Dressing if I want, or maybe Stoner Trim Shine, and just treat these plastics and just dial this engine in. I just wanted to show you that real quickly, how easy it is to do an engine bay with very little water, very little water pressure with the right chemicals, the right brushes, and working on a really nasty, dirty, completely... I don't think this engine's ever been cleaned since 2007, so that's going on a long time, folks. But that's what Super Clean can do in the right tools. Just wanted to show it to you. I love you all. I appreciate it. I'm exhausted. I am going home. 
after this and I'm gonna tell my customer I'm grateful for the call and they'll pay me and I will go on my way love you so much guys talk to you soon